Today, the Indonesian Foreign Minister Ratno Masudi welcomed the visit from the Foreign Minister of Denmark, Mr. J.P. Kofod. Both Excellencies of Foreign Minister discussed several issues in their bilateral meetings. And after that, both Foreign Minister signed two important documents. The first one is Plan of Action Document of Strategic Partnership between Indonesia and Denmark for the year of 2021 to 2024. The second document is the Memorandum of Understanding or MOU between Indonesia and Denmark to support the investment of infrastructure development in Indonesia for the upcoming years. The first agreement consists of 68 action points revolving around multilateralism and sustainability agenda which also incorporate the sustainable development goals by the United Nations. One of the meeting highlights is the strategic partnership for economic recovery which also strengthens the palm oil trade partnership. Prior to the pandemic, Denmark was Indonesia's second largest partner in Nordic countries with a growing value of 39 million US dollars to 73 million US dollars from 2015 to 2019. Minister Kofod and I agreed to strengthen cooperation to accelerate economic recovery. We agreed to continue supporting the positive contribution of sustainable palm oil economic to economic recovery and I appreciate Denmark for its support toward elimination of discriminatory treatment of Indonesia agriculture products, particularly palm oil. Other partnerships for economic recovery include the support for startups capacity building, ICT, energy, transport, maritime and defense. The bilateral meeting also facilitates the energy platform launch to continue green partnership between both countries, continuing the commitment from Paris Agreement and COP26 in October. Denmark is supporting 600,000 hectares of mangrove conservation and rehabilitation in Indonesia with the support from the World Bank via grants and loans of 62.5 million US dollars. We agreed that trade and investment flows can be vastly improved under the coming Indonesia-EU Comprehensive Economic Cooperation Agreement. And together with Minister Retno uh, and involved agencies and companies, I now look forward to make the new plan of action concrete to the benefit of both Indonesia and Denmark in the years to come. Other important agenda is Denmark's support in counterterrorism and combating extremism in Indonesia through a form of grant amounted to 763,000 US dollars for the Jakarta Center for Law Enforcement and Cooperation. The grant will cover for years 2021 until 2023. Al Harkan, Anita Putri for C Today.